previously. Hey, who do you think you are? I'm the real you. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Renai, and welcome back to Bear With Me. We are in this creepy ass hallway and we're gonna go do some stuff. So, yeah. These point in different directions. These... Let's go this way, we went this way last time. Curious if they're different. Looks like they are. Is this the same me? Hello there, how can I be of assistance? What? How is this? Where am I? It's the customer service, ma'am. How can I help you? What do you mean? It's me. I don't know your stupid answer. I'm trying to leave. Answer? Your stupid question about our neighbor, whatever his name was. I'm sorry, miss, but you must have me confused with someone else. Is there something I can help you with? Are you kidding me? Um, I mean, joking and kidding wasn't part of my orientation. Fine, whatever. I just want to get out of here. What is it that you want? Me? Ma'am, I don't want anything. I'm just here to help you. Listen, I don't have a lot of patience left, so let's just cut to the chase. Oh, by all means. Okay, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which one? Ugh, I can't remember his name. Okay, <laughs> was there anything about him that stood <laughs> out? Uh... He had a dusty blue coat. Um, I need something more specific. He loved coffee. Every Sunday he would drink coffee on the terrace across the street from our building. I... that's not enough information, I'm afraid. He had the saddest, kindest eyes. That's not helpful. At all. <sighs> I can't, for the life of me, remember anything right now. Well, you'll have to remember something. I can't help you otherwise. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, all right. I'm gonna look at anything else here. There has to be a way out of here. Uh... Maybe I should try another one. There has to be a... Closed. Closed. Okay. Back this way, I guess. Let's go through the first one we went through last time. Wait. Nothing. <coughs> it's silent. Mm. Alright. There has... There ha... There ha... Maybe I should try... Closed. Okay. Is this the same me? Probably not. <clears throat> Hello, miss. How can I help you? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from back in the city? I'm not sure which neighbor you mean, ma'am. The lonely old man. I'm afraid I need some more information in order to help you. What apartment was he in? Uh... Um, 12D? That sounds familiar. But I think that was the young couple that moved in last. 18, A? Eh? No, that was the Walkers. 19. 19 what? 19... Just 19. No, that was Joey and Chandler. I don't know. I'm sorry, miss, but I can't help you if you don't give me some information at least. Yeah, I know. Well, if I find out something, I'll come back. I'll be here. Alright. <clears throat> okay, what about this one? Close. Maybe I. There ha. There ha. Maybe I. Just making sure. There ha. Hmm. <clears throat> Is this. What about you? You got any information for me? How can I be of <laughs> assistance, miss? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? You know, back in the city? Which one? The old man. I always felt sorry for him. He seemed so lonely. The old man from 15D? Oh yeah, that's right, 15D. What was his name? I can't remember. I... I can't remember either. I remember feeling sorry for him, because I thought he lived alone. I think he had a wife, miss. She would always bake those cookies for the kids. Remember how every time she would make them, their entire floor would smell so good? What was that smell? Oranges? Oranges? No, it was... 
chocolate. Chocolate? No. Mint? No. It's probably bananas. I can't remember. Don't worry, miss. I'm sure it'll come to you. In any case, don't forget. He was in apartment 15D. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember. Alright, so I know he was in 15D now. Which I can give to the information to the girl over here, but I want to check out the other rooms and see what information they want. <coughs> also, sorry. Just want to make sure. Yep, we're all good. Okay. All right. Hi there. Welcome. <laughs> How can I be of assistance? Yeah. Do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? Which one? The lonely old man. Oh, that guy. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. Didn't he? What happened to him? Uh. I don't think he had a wife. Well, I think he did. He, he did. I oh. think she left him. No. I think they got divorced. No, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. Hmm. Well, try and remember, miss. It's a good place to start. I'll be here. Alright, so you want to know what happened to the wife? What about this room? <coughs> Hello? Why, 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 why do you have to knock? Oh, Selena's not here. I'm... Oh, I'm recorded. It's just so you know. Hello there, miss. Um, how can I help you? Listen, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which neighbor? That lonely old man? Oh yeah, I remember him. I remember him as being kind, but something was wrong with him, right? Was something wrong with him? He was a gambler. No. Uh... He worked as an accountant for the Ma. No, that... <laughs> He smoked a lot. Hmm, that too, but there was something else. There was nothing wrong with him. He was just lonely and sad. No, there was. He was weird, especially later on. I don't know what you're talking about, but I remember him being nice. He was, no doubt. But there was this thing, something about him. All right. I guess let's go to the last room on that side, and then I can go tell this one over here about 15D. <coughs> what information do you have for me? Oh, great. A customer. Oh, great. A cheerful employee. What do you mm -hmm. want? Well, nicer attitude would be a good start, but I need to know what happened to our neighbor back from the city. Which neighbor? The lonely old man? Oh, the one that used to hang in the dive bar down the street. What was the name of that place? Cheers? Cheers? No, everybody knows that name. Uh, the Downward Spiral? No, I don't think so. What about this? Sam and Sam's. No, that's not it. I don't know. I don't know. Why is this important? Why is anything important? Do you know what happened to him or not? I might. Well, I can't remember. Ugh, fine. I'll find out the name of the bar. Please do. Okay, so the only one that gave, her, gave me information was 15D. Which I gotta go give to this chick. Or, uh, this me. What in the hell are you doing? Hmm. Hello there, ma'am. Did you remember what apartment the lonely old man was living in? Yes. 15D. 15D? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Oh, you were spraying. He had a cat. Okay. Dinah, right? Can't remember his name though. Weird. Oh, I totally forgotten about mm -hmm. Dinah. She was so cute. But yeah, that guy. I can't remember his name either. Never mind. I'll get it. Thanks anyways. Glad I could help, miss. Cat named Dinah? What is how does that Hello help again. me? Having a nice day? What's nice about it? I'm still stuck here. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot about Dinah. She was the cutest thing ever. Sometimes we just forget things. It's not uncommon, miss. I guess. Thanks, though. No problem. If you find any need for my further assistance, don't hesitate to ask. Did none of them wanted to know the name of the cat, though? Um, maybe this one? <coughs> Hmm. 
Did you want to know the name of the cat? Oh, it's you again. Did you find out anything that would help me remember who the hell you're asking about? I mean, she had a cat. It could be a bit nicer, you know? Well, you could remember a bit better, then you wouldn't have to bother me. As if you have something better to do. Anyways. He had a cat named Dinah. He had the cutest cat named Dinah. <coughs> oh, you mean Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan, Morgan, that's right. That was his name. How could I forget that? Are you satisfied with the service I provided? What? Oh, yeah. That was great. Thank you. I'm only happy if you're happy. That's kind sure. of sad. Tell me about it. Mr. Morgan. Okay. Uh, what about you? Can I tell you his name is Mr. Morgan? Or was that one of the other girls? Just give up already. You're never going to leave. Shut up. I won't be held here by your lack of incentive. You are not me, and it shows. That's why you're stuck here. Look at you, all full of energy and life. I was just like that. Well, what happened? Your life happened. That's oh. all sorts of vague, right? Anyways, I remembered the name of our neighbor downstairs. <laughs> hmm, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan? It was, wasn't it? I remember now. He was that heavy smoker, that guy. Remember? I don't think I ever saw him without a, a cigarette. That's right. And he was really lonely. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. I can vaguely remember her, cinnamon. but she would bake these cinnamon cookies for the kids, remember? I guess. I remember that cinnamon smell now that you mention it. Mr. Morgan, that's right. Now you just have to find out what happened to him. All right, I'll take a stab in the dark here. Um, the he moved to Montenegro. Where? And no, he... He was actually a ghost this whole time and was kept here on earth by his rage and despair over his murdered wife. He started stalking the guys responsible, but they were Yakuza and he had to take them all down before he could pass on. Like some sort of angry, vengeful ghost ninja. That's like really cool, I'll give you that, but also totally stupid at the same time. You're stupid <laughs> at the same time. Real mature. He, um, joined the bird watchers of the world and went north for the yellow cardinal season? No, he didn't. Ah. I don't know. Well, go and find out. <sighs> this one wanted to know about the cinnamon, right? <coughs> hmm. Hey. Hello again. Did you find out what happened to our neighbor? No, not yet. I remembered his name, though. It was Mr. Morgan. Oh, that's right. That was his name. Did you find out if he had a wife? Oh, yeah, he did, apparently, and yes, she used to make these cookies for the kids in our building. What kind of cookies? I still remember the smell. What was it? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. She used to make cinnamon cookies. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Those were so great. Yeah. Oh, no. What is it? I remember now. I think his wife passed away. She was sick and bedridden for some time, and one day she just died. That's right. Poor guy. He was heartbroken. I remember now. Yeah, such a tragedy. Well, this took a dark turn. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. You were very helpful. No problem, miss. If there's anything else, please let me know. Which one wanted to know about the wife? Was it the one on the end? Was it this one? Or was it that one? Hi, did you find out if he had a wife? <coughs> um, she passed away. Oh no, what happened? She was sick. Poor guy. I bet he was devastated. I guess that's why he... What? Would spend his days in that bar down the street. I guess he didn't feel so alone there. Yeah, I guess he needed to be around people. What was the name of that place? It's on the tip of my tongue. I think it was Long Gone Day, miss. Oh yeah. Anyways, thank you. See you later. Bye, miss. Don't hesitate to ask for assistance. We're only happy if you're happy. Long gone day. And he had a drinking problem. You wanted to know about the name of the bar, right? Hey there, you. Did you remember the name of the bar? Yes. The long gone day? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Funny name though. So yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, after his wife died, he would spend his days there. 
I remember him as being a heavy smoker. After his wife died, he picked up another habit. Oh no, poor guy. Yeah, he would always come home late at night and he could barely walk. I feel so sorry for him. What happened to him? And I can't remember, but I have a feeling if you're hoping for a happy end, you'll be disappointed. I yeah, have to I'd find so. out. I need to know what happened to him. Sure. I'll be here if you need my help. All right, so the other one wants to know that he had a drinking problem. He probably got hit by a car or got into some sort of accident. Or maybe he just died of too much alcohol. <clears throat> Blackberry tea. How could you say that? Um, say what? What did I say? About our neighbor. That something was wrong with him. I didn't mean anything by it, miss. It's just, I remember him being a bit, well, weird. He was just lonely. I guess. Loneliness does weird <coughs> things to people. So sad. It really is. But can you pinpoint what it was that seemed off about him? <sighs> had a bit of a drinking problem. He had a bit of a drinking problem. Oh, that's right. It all started after his wife passed away. He would spend his days in that dive bar down the street. What was the name? The Long Gone Day. Long Gone Day. That's it. What is it? I remember now. So what happened to him? He... I'm sorry to say this, but... Well, he died. Wait, Obviously. really? Poor guy. What happened? There was this accident, and... I think it's best if you talk to my supervisor about that. Are you kidding? <laughs> Tell me. He came home one night, and he was drunk. I remember hearing about it somewhere. Apparently he fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment... Oh no. Caught his apartment caught on fire. The fire department couldn't do nothing about it. Oh. They were too late. That's terrible. Such a tragedy. How come I don't remember any of that? I really don't know. But please, miss, talk to our supervisor. She might be able to help you remember. Fine, I'll talk to her. She's not exactly the nicest. She can be difficult, but you have to understand she's been here the longest. Okay, I'll go and talk to her. Thank you, by the way. You were very helpful. Glad I could help, miss. <clears throat> Such a sad story. It really is. Wait, did the fire kill her brother? Is that what happened? I put the egg stuff back on the crock pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Outside. Did you find out what happened? I did. So, what happened? He... <sighs> he died. He fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment burned down. Sadly, that's right. Why did you make me do this? It's for your own good. It doesn't feel good. Not all good things feel that way. I can't... Listen, isn't it a bit strange you forgot all about that? It's very strange. You think I forgot on purpose? No one can forget on purpose. You forgot because it was easier. It just happened. So, what now? Do I need to find something else for you, or... Oh shit. Hello? <laughs> What's going on? Did you... Hey, where'd you go? What just happened? Um... I think it's time to go. So I think Amber blames herself for her brother Flint dying because he had to stay home while she went to the hospital because she ate the banana cookie. Fire. Mm -hmm. Alright, floor fourth? 
four three. All right. Hmm. This, this is our old apartment. Is someone here? Mom? Dad? Flint? Hmm. Ugh, just to think about the dishes. Flint showed me how to draw right there. I'm guessing Flint was killed in the fire. I miss this sofa. Let's go. I think he's dead. That is carbon monoxide poisoning. You're not so bad. It was me who made you into a monster. What in the world is going on? You exist because of me. Because I refuse to accept. I see. <clears throat> I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. Why didn't you take All Flint I know with is you? That I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding, that maybe. I don't know. That maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way, I got lost in my own fantasy, and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it, and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness, so there's no point in trying. The only way to get over something is just to face it head on. <laughs> 
I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost Ted too that I got the strength to stand up to him. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. All I have to do is push through and happiness will find me again. I need to get some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. So if I would have killed Millie and CBG and then used the sword on Red, uh, would I have had a different ending? Aww. That was a sweet ending. Lots of stuff to look at on the side. Officer Burke. <coughs> Brian Burke. New commissioner. The only one without a mustache. Got a weird toupee though. <sighs> no. Epilogue. I got gotcha. you. Amber returns to a reopen Paper City General. The hospital? Betty Davis. Betty Davis eyes. That's what my mom likes to tell me. Mystery Mountain Bear. Wait, bird watching. <laughs> but Ted. <sighs> oh, and now it's back to the beginning. the end of the credits. <coughs> Aww. <sighs> oh, that's the end of it. Oh well, um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet signing out. Bye!